Anfaqa. The word is commonly translated as to spend, and it goes back to the root nafaqa, which can mean to exit and to leave, or to, com to be completed or to end, or uh, for something to become depleted. So therefore, when we say anfaqa malahu, when someone spends their wealth, it means that their wealth has left their possession, it has left their hands, and it can also mean that that resource of wealth, which was once something of benefit to them, has become depleted because they used it in something else. Now, anfaqa isn't only uh, in terms of something that is tangible or something that is monetary. It can, be, it can refer to something that's not tangible, like time, to spend your time. Because when you use your time, I mean, it is a limited resource, and therefore when you spend it doing something, you have depleted it or you have, uh, it has exited your possession. And in fact, spending can be obligatory. It can also be uh, supererogatory or permissible. So obligatory spending refers to zakah, spending on your family for their essential needs like a roof above their head, their clothes, their, uh, their food. It can, be, it can refer to supererogatory such as charity, doing something good for someone else. And it could be something that is permissible such as purchasing some sort of commodity that you enjoy and you benefit from. Uh, nafaqa can also refer to something that is spiritual. So a munafiq, a hypocrite, is uh, called a munafiq because their faith has exited from them and has depleted. They have no faith because of the actions that they do and because they, uh, it, within their hearts, uh, dismiss Islam as being the truth. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.